Hey everyone, this is Colleen Norton with Thrive Yoga and Wellness, and today I am going to review the Oregon Trail CBD Hemp Flower, more particularly one of their strains, which is called Lifter. But first, go over and like and subscribe to the Thrive Yoga and Wellness channel to also receive other great reviews on all the other CBD products that we offer. So, if you are new to CBD products in general, or just started using them, it could be wildly confusing. They have gained a lot of popularity, especially over the past year, since it has become legal under the 2018 Farm Bill. Some of the great benefits of CBD are, they help with muscle aches, pain, insomnia, anxiety, stress, epilepsy, inflammation, and more and more benefits are coming out every day. Personally for me, I use CBD for inflammation, aches and pains, stress, and anxiety. I actually have three bulging discs and also extreme case of scoliosis, have already had three lumbar infusions. And since I've been practicing yoga regularly and incorporating the past six months CBD, it is really limited how many times I have to go to the doctor, the amount of pain that I have, and other kind of pills and everything else that is given to you in order to help and manage my pain and my aches. If you've ever wondered what distinguishes a CBD hemp flower from a cannabis plant, I'm gonna show you. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is the CBD hemp flower from Oregon Trail. When I first saw it on the shelf a week ago, I definitely did a double take, because as you notice, it looks exactly like a cannabis plant. So there are a few main differences. For one, the CBD hemp flower produces a higher amount of CBD, whereas again, a cannabis plant produces more THC. The CBD hemp flower is actually a hardier plant. It is skinnier, grows taller, up to 12 feet tall. Normally it's grown outdoors and it has minimal effort in terms of its growth. Now, again, the cannabis plant actually takes a lot of careful, specialized cultivation regarding lighting, temperature, humidity, in order to produce high quality THC buds. The main takeaway is this, CBD hemp flower does not produce a psychoactive effect like the cannabis plant does, which is why so many people enjoy the therapeutic effects without the psychoactive effect of using a cannabis plant. So now that we've deciphered between the two differences of the plants, let's go over the most common ways to actually take in your CBD. You'll hear again, the most common way is oil and tinctures. You also have your creams and your lotions. You have your capsules and your pills. You have your edibles, which usually come in like a gummy form. You'll see those you know, more widely popular. Also sublingual, which are lozenges, gums, lollipops. And of course, we all know with vaping. You can actually see all of these products and their reviews on our Thrive Yoga and Wellness channel. So the first way, the most effective way to take in your CBD is either smoking or vaping it. With that, it enters the bloodstream the quickest. The second fastest way is through your sublingual, which is again, your lozenges, your gums, lollipops of that nature. And the third easiest way is through edibles. Now they take a little bit longer because they need to go through the digestive tract but they do say that they actually have a longer lasting effect for the user. Now, let me just say this. Of course, when it comes to smoking and vaping, the other two options, which are sublingual or edible, they obviously do not have any respiratory effects like smoking or vaping does. My preference prior to purchasing the Oregon Trail CBD hemp flower was using an oil and vaping. Personally, I felt there were a few non-problematic side effects that I personally felt with that, but I am super excited that now I have another option to use. So now let's go on right to the review of the actual product, which again is the Oregon Trail CBD Hemp Flower. 
and the one that I tried was the lifter. This is my actual bottle, and as you can see, it's gone. I just bought this about a week ago. Now, in fairness, I did share with my neighbors and with friends because I was super excited about it and how well it actually worked. So when you first look at the bud itself, the one that I had, again, the color is a nice green leafy tone to it, but it had a lot of brown and orange undertones. For me though, it really was the burn factor. It actually burned really nice and slow. I did try about two other products before purchasing the Oregon Trail in smaller packs at other locations, and they almost disintegrated as soon as they were heated, and it went completely into ash, which again, if you're purchasing a product, you're paying a certain amount of money for it. As soon as you light it and it's going into ash, it's not a very good quality product. The Oregon Trail CBD hemp flower is produced by Oregon Valley Farms. They offer nine different strains of CBD hemp flower, and all of them are tested regularly to make sure they meet the legal limit, which is 0.3% or lower of THC. All of the nine strains that they do offer, of course, do have different levels of percentage of CBD. So when you first look, if this actually was full, and you actually look at the lifter bud, you will actually see firsthand that it is a nice dark leafy green. It has really nice brown and orange undertones to it. For me, which stood out was the burn factor of it. That is because when it was heated, it did not immediately disintegrate into ash like two other products that I tried before this from other stores in the area. And that is very disappointed when you're spending a certain amount of money on a product and as soon as it's heated, there's nothing there left. Also, what is really nice about this was actually the taste of it. It actually was a little bit sweet, a little bit earthy. Now when I say earthy, most people will think automatic dirt, and I don't mean that. It just had a very nice blend with the sweetness. There were a few reviews that I read online that said that the smell of it afterwards was a little bit pungent, I didn't find that to be true. I did feel that the smell in general was a little bit longer, that was kind of lingering, but to me it was not pungent at all. So when you start to actually research Oregon Valley Farms and actually go to look at the Oregon Trail CBD hemp flower, you will take notice at their company. For me, I was really impressed. They actually have been growing natural crops since 1844. They grow everything organically with organic fertilizer and compost. It is actually still family owned since 1843. The best thing about it is they are really, really striving to keep their company and keep the quality. They are more focused on producing a well-rounded quality product than quantity on that. So with the CBD hemp flower, I will say for me, again, like I said, I went ahead and I did smoke the CBD hemp flower. They do offer pre-rolled cones or tubes as they're called as well. What I actually did, you can actually use this in another way. You can actually use it in butters. You can use it in infused oil. They also say about smoothies or they say about guacamole. Haven't tried that one yet that is actually on my list to do next and kind of share with everyone here at Thrive Yoga and Wellness. I did try the other night a little bit of infused oil with the CBD hemp flower lifter. I actually made some tilapia, I put it aside, and instead of using my normal marinade that I would have, I went ahead and used the new infused CBD oil. And I have to say, it did not have an overwhelming taste you would have not known any difference if I would have used any type of other herb or oil while cooking it. So it did turn out really, really nice and a different way of actually taking in the CBD instead of just smoking. Oregon Valley Farms offers two different varieties for their CBD hemp flower, Rogue River 
and Mal Ashlyn. Lifter is from Mal Ashlyn. It is actually the second highest strain of CBD that they offer at 14.86%. The highest one that they do offer is the Hawaiian Haze. That comes in at 15.77%. And even their lowest strain, which is Auto, is still a respectable 13.22%. Again, still with 0.3% or less of THC. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering about price. So, for this jar here, this is our seven gram jar that they offer. This is $49.95. As you can see, you get a lot of the product for that amount. They do offer a 28 gram jar at $179.95. And like I said previously, they do offer a 12 count and a 10 count of pre-rolled tubes or of cones. Now they kind of differ in price depending on what strain you get and of course the account, but they kind of range between $49.95 to $79.95 and a little bit in between. I think their highest is about $89 for the pre-rolled for that. Okay. So I really enjoyed actually trying this product for the first time which again is the Oregon Trail CBD hemp flower in the lifter strain. I am actually by the end of this video going to be purchasing the special sauce, so hopefully I will have a review on that. But I also want to add, if you've ever tried any of the Oregon Trail products, which are produced by Oregon Valley Farms, please go back again to our page, like and subscribe to the Thrive Yoga and Wellness channel, but add your comments or even ask questions and maybe others can weigh in or again, as we continue to do more reviews, maybe there'll be more comments and reviews added to that. So I hope I helped you maybe make a little bit of a different choice when it came to picking your type of CBD. Now remember, if you are going to purchase CBD hemp flower or any of the others that I showed, whether they are edibles, whether they are sublingual or capsules, head on over to the Thrive Hemp Store in Thrive Yoga and Wellness. We were the first CBD store in East Brainerd and the third CBD store in Chattanooga. So when you're looking to purchase your first or your next CBD product, head over to the Thrive Hemp Store located in Thrive Yoga and Wellness. I hope you enjoyed this review and again, like and subscribe to our channel for more great reviews in the future.